At the top for us tonight, thousands of folks are expected to hit downtown and the C District this weekend as a number of events are taking place. The hooks at Waterburger Field kick things off tonight. Yeah, but what uh, TxDOT, now that TxDOT has permanently closed some of those Harbor Bridge exits as a way to try to deter those wrong way drivers, you may need some new directions when it comes to getting to some of your favorite attractions. Our Bill Churchwell begins us with that report. At Waterburger Field, the hometown team in action on KIIII 9. But for some fans who hadn't been out to the C District lately, it might have taken a few extra minutes. Trying to get here, or American Bank says they're going to end up in Portland, I promise. Michael Palkovics brought his family out to catch the game. He is talking about the continued work on the Harbor Bridge and the detours into downtown. Luckily, Waze and all the apps sent me a different way to get here about five minutes faster. And he's not alone, especially for those coming from Portland now met with concrete barriers instead of the exits they might be used to taking. This as Tech Stop permanently closes southbound Harbor Bridge exits from Padre to Power Street. It's for safety. I totally understand it. I can't wait for the big bridge to get done. From Brewster Street to Heritage Park, this C district is no doubt expecting to be packed with a number of events taking place, including one you can really sink your teeth into. Last year, we had just shy of 2,000 people. Here at Concrete Street, organizers of this year's Crawfish for a Cause are preparing for those big crowds. We have 12,000 pounds of crawfish on the way, supplied by Corpus Christi Crawfish. It is an all-you-can-eat crawfish cook-off festival. The event benefiting the Salvation Army is said to be sold out Saturday. If you're headed out there, just be sure to use your GPS. It was a little confusing and complicated um, having Tonkawa and, you know, the exit on right here to the port. It was really kind of frustrating, but you go down Shoreline, make it left, and get on down here by Brewster Street. What I did is I, I exited La Pan, <laughs> and then I turned right on Comanche, went up to Staples. We know that's a lot. So here's a couple of maps to help you get a better idea. If you're driving from Portland, use the left lane to take the exit to downtown. Follow it past Mesquite Street, down Twig, and then turn left onto North Chaparral Street, and then a left on Belden Street. If you're coming from Crosstown, be sure to take the exit downtown onto Antelope Street. If not, you'll wind up going across the bridge all the way to Portland. Yes, there's detours everywhere. So plug the address into your navigation and give yourself a couple extra minutes to get downtown. Bill Churchwell, 3 News. All right, thank you, Bill.